extra speed, extra flow, extra affordable, E3D high flow obsidian for bamboo with warranty coverage. Let's talk about it. Hey, welcome back to the channel. And if you have a bamboo X1 or P1 series, and you don't know about the high flow obsidian hot end from E3D and bamboo, yeah, it's a collab. You have got to check it out. We've been using one now for about four months, ever since we got back from Smurf, where I had a lot longer hair. By the way, tours of E3D and Purusha coming up. So if you want to see that, get subscribed because uh, those are going to be a lot of fun. We got our hands on these really awesome hot ends when we were out at E3D. And to be honest, I didn't believe it. E3D is claiming upwards of 60% more volumetric flow than stock, which for a stock bamboo is about 12 cubic millimeters a second. We have thoroughly tested it now, and I can comfortably say that 60% is actually low. We are comfortably pushing 30 to 35 cubic millimeters per second out of this insane hot end, and for all less than 100 US dollars. If you care about print speed let's say you're running a small business where you're trying to sell a lot of things fast right stuff for etsy stuff for local events nothing proprietary because it's a bamboo after all if you're going for speed for less than a hundred bucks to cut significant amounts of times off of your parts that's a big deal by utilizing the license that they have from three solex for the patent you know that we all know is the cht from bond tech they implemented it inside of a bamboo hot end and even better you still maintain your factory warranty yes this is a collab so if you buy this from e3d a third party bamboo will still support you and assist you in having anything that might go wrong with this that is what collaboration is all about in this industry and remember e3d is no slouch they've been making high flow nozzles for a while including their revo obsidian high flow all the way up to 1.4 millimeters which we covered the non-abrasive ones in a recent video we'll card to it so you guys can take a look and uh oh yeah crazy price reduction on the revos if you want us to do a roundup of that let me know because that one might be a nice little video to talk about the price reduction and well what that means for users out there but if you have a bamboo this to me is one of the cheapest and easiest upgrades that you can make without violating your warranty or upsetting bamboo or even further upsetting the bamboo fanboys this is still a allowable thing with the company which is awesome so we can see that it utilizes the high flow system which allows you to bump up your volumetric flow rate by splitting the filament into multiple channels you get more heat where it matters more fast faster which allows you to print well at higher speeds traditionally speaking the bamboo with generic pla cannot actually top out the motion system you need to either run hotter so you can increase your volumetric flow rate or i don't know run a bigger nozzle but with this e3d nozzle we've been able to easily easily hit 30 to 35 cubic millimeters a second up from the stock 12 for the generic pla and it translates to real world numbers take a look at this apex model made by elegant marble machines available via the links down below we can see that stock settings are reasonably stock this one's a slightly tuned profile but you get it eight hours and 48 minutes to get it done this is our high flow profile which all that we've done is increase volumetric flow rate from 12 to 30 and that's conservative we can go 35 pretty reliably and we are losing over an hour of print time here that is a big deal if you want to print lots of stuff fast bamboos are known for their speed and in some cases reliability not in mine but you know that's another story we'll card to that video if you want most of you have probably seen it by now i will say that i've had minimal issues with this nozzle now something to note because of the way that this nozzle works at the 0.4 size glitter filament not filament that needs abrasive nozzles but filament that is glittery like a galaxy can have a tendency to clog it and clogs in nozzles like this 
can be a nightmare to clear. So if you like printing a lot of glittery filaments, we would recommend going up to the 0.6 to be a little safer. And when we were touring E3D, we actually got to see how these were made. I don't believe we'll be able to show that to you guys at this time. We still have to finish editing that video and then get it approved because we definitely saw things that we can't show on camera. Eh? That's always fun to see. It's pretty obvious that we have a pressed in end here. That is where the hotness occurs. That's where the filament splits apart and then comes back together. And for me personally, I love the little rainbow coating that you get from the obsidian and the 3D LC coating that they put over everything to make sure that the filament doesn't actually stick to the hot end itself, which is super freaking cool. We haven't had any major issues where that would have been a problem, but hey, better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. But the nice thing here is that it is a quality hot end made by E3D. This is not some generic one that you're going to buy off of AliExpress and it's pretty reasonably priced. We can see that it's just under $76 and that's not too bad. It's basically two and a little bit more of the regular bamboo hot ends. And to me, it makes sense to go ahead and purchase something like this if you like to play around with exotic materials and if you like to go fast. I want to go fast. We traditionally don't print TPU very quickly, but I had some fun. We were able to actually easily print TPU upwards of 20 cubic millimeters a second. Now you can't run it through an AMS. You got to run it through the, the back PTFE tubing, but the high flow obsidian bamboo hot end from E3D works phenomenally for pretty much everything that we have thrown at it. And I wanted to talk about this earlier because it came out a while ago and they've been historically pretty much impossible to get. They sell out very, very quickly. We'd like to test things for at least three months before we really review them. And after extensive testing, I can confidently say that as long as you don't slam this nozzle into the print and bend it at the heat break, this could very well be the last hot end that you'll ever need for your bamboo. And certainly if time is of the essence for you, 60 pounds or 76 US dollars is nothing when it comes to what it would take to have all that extra time add up and add up and add up. I will say we haven't played around with going much faster. If we go above 35, we start to actually hit speed limits of the machine where if we don't bump up the speed, that's it. We're, we're kind of capping ourselves on the speed, but I would like to. And if you guys want to see how fast we can push a bamboo, let me know in those comments because I kind of want to try, but I'm also very afraid of what we're going to break. Speaking of, we're almost done with our Voron Trident build. It's been, um, it's been interesting and we are going to be putting a Revo on it. The Revo Voron edition, of course. And yes, we are going to see at some point what's faster, a bamboo or a Voron. So stay tuned if that's something that you guys would like to see. It'll happen sometime after Rocky Mountain because Rocky Mountain Rep Rep Fest is coming up and we will be there. So if you guys do want to come say, hey, when we're at Rocky Mountain, come and find us. We'll be walking around filming with some of your favorite companies, ones you may have heard of and ones you probably haven't. And certainly we will be seeing E3D there as well. And hey, maybe they'll have something cool that they'll be announcing there too. I don't know. This is a cheap upgrade. And when we look at upgrades these days for 3D printers, it often comes with some sort of trade-off, right? It's going to ruin your warranty. It's not officially supported. You could put clipper on printers and make them go much faster, but then you're kind of on your own, right? You're, you're, you're venturing into a land of unknowns. This is none of that. Literally take apart your hot end, you put this on. It even comes with a brand new silicone sock, so it's really simple to do. And then you just increase your flow rate from 12 to 30 and send it. We've seen no issues. And in fact, on materials like ASA, we've been pushing 40 to 45 cubic millimeters a second with no problems. That's actually where we found that we were running into speed limits on the machine. And we started kicking up the speeds just a little bit. But certainly when you go really fast on bamboos, they get very noisy. Just be aware of that. With speed does come, you know, a slight drawback of extra noise. But I'd like to know in those comments, will you be getting this nozzle? Are you looking at getting this nozzle? It would be a great little upgrade. And certainly if there's a maker in your life or you're looking to treat yourself, it's less than a hundred bucks to go quite a bit faster. I think it's pretty awesome. And certainly for parts like this, where they're very, very intricate, time you can get back. And I don't believe that you would see any discernible difference in print quality. We have never noticed 
a degradation in print quality. In fact, I find that this nozzle is more reliable, especially when printing abrasives, than Bamboo's own hot end. Why? I have no clue. Is it just correlation doesn't equal causation? I don't know. We've had far less, far less clogging issues with this high flow obsidian than we have with the stock bamboo hot end. And that could be that we're just pushing the stock hot end a little too fast. So far with the obsidian, we've been struggling to keep up. So I'd love to know your thoughts about this down in those comments below. Let me know uh, if you want to see some live tests or something like that. Maybe we can do a, a live stream where we uh, really try to push it, see how fast we can go before things start to uh, break down. That is all I have for you guys today. Check out these high flow obsidian nozzles from E3D and Bamboo down in that description. And hey, while you're down there, if you do want to support us, a couple of bucks in that creator fund helps out a ton. PayPal, Patreon, YouTube channel members, coming soon to printables and things as well. So you can support us where it makes sense for you. And at the $10 tier and higher, you get to come hang out with myself and everybody whose names are listed right next to me. Although, they start at the $5 tier and higher, where we do hang out pretty much every day. We talk about the cool stuff that's happening, including this really, really affordable SLS printer. Yeah, we're going to be talking about that soon, so uh, stay tuned for that one. But that is all I have for you guys today. Right below me will be, well, our Bamboo series. The good, the bad, the ugly, and the really ugly. And right next to that will be our Voron stream. So if you want to take a look to see what a Voron moron can do, maybe you'll enjoy it. I think you will. That's all I have for you all today. Make sure to leave a like, get subscribed, stay safe out there. Don't forget to call your loved ones. And as always, keep making awesome. Have a good one.